this is Mary again, and I am fired up this morning. I just got done reading a book called In Broad Daylight, suggested to me by a friend. Hey, Michelle. The author's name is Harry N. McLean, wrote in 1988. It actually won an award. It's well written. It tells the facts, and I enjoyed the story. <clears throat> but it's a story of a man, Ken McElroy, that was shot in broad daylight by the townspeople um, in the early 80s. And it was a nationwide story. And this man had terrorized the town and the, the surrounding five counties in Kansas and Missouri for years, since he was like 12, 13. And he died when he was 47, so you can only imagine. Um... He stole, he broke into homes, he burned homes down, he rustled cattle and pigs. Um, he was charged with attempted murder several times, uh, molesting young girls, rape, you name it. This guy had over 50 felonies on him. The town was terrified of him. The judge would not try him. The police were scared of him. And finally, the town took matters into their own hands. They had a town meeting, and then that afternoon, him and his wife had came to the bar, and when he came out of the bar and got into the truck, they opened fire. Literally about, they said anywhere from 60 to 100 people surrounded the truck and shot him. His wife survived. They, didn't sh they weren't shooting at her anyway. Now, I've got three problems with this. Three things I believe they did wrong. Number one, this happened in Missouri. This is where Jesse James came from. And shooting anybody in the back is considered being cowardly. And the town is now considered cursed because of all this. And it was a, a coward, cowardly act to shoot a man. So my first thing I would have done is I would have called him out. I would say, hey, big boy, come on out of the truck and let's talk for a minute. And then I would have had my say. Second thing they did wrong is the whole town denied it. We didn't hear a thing. Sixty hundred people standing around and they didn't see or hear anything. A woman in her yard, well I didn't hear a thing. What they should have done was everybody claimed it. Ask an eight-year-old boy, son, did you see what happened? Well of course I did. I shot the man. He was mean. He asked a 99-year-old woman on oxygen laying in the bed. Did you see or hear anything? I sure did. I shot him because he's me. They couldn't have persecuted the whole town, almost 500 people. So that's just what I would have done. The wife was in the truck when it happened. They weren't trying to hurt her. They took her out after it was over with and took her to the bank to keep her safe. And that's the third thing they did wrong. They should have shot her too. Happy reading.